They're really beautiful. I have goosebumps all over my body. Chairman Ye's father is also very imposing, while his mother looks so gentle and refined. They're really a family of immortals. I love them. Should we go up and ask for an autograph and their contact information? Do you want their phone number? Do you have a serious illness? That's the chairman of Dinglong Corporation. Even my father doesn't dare to ask for it. With our influence, do you really dare? That's right. Oh my God, I don't even dare to go up and greet him. He's too imposing. I feel that my legs are a little numb now. Forget it. Forget it. I'll just watch here. I'll take a photo and show it to my father while showing off at the same time. I'll take one too. By the way, let's go to the hot spring later. We'll take a bath and go back. All right, let's leave after taking the photos. Otherwise, it will be too awkward later. Let's just take a look at Chairman Ye's face. I won't ask for anything else. I'll take one too. I'll just record a video. It's a Rolls Royce Phantom Extended Edition. My scalp is numb and I'm numb. I'll record a video too. Today is amazing. As the young master and the young lady spoke, they kept taking photos with their phones. After they were done, they did not hesitate to get into the car and leave. Then, they headed straight to the hot spring clubhouse. With Chairman Yi holding down the fort, their sports cars were really not enough. It was also quite awkward to stay here. They might as well slip away as soon as possible to avoid being laughed at. Meanwhile, Yixin didn't go out to play with his parents and sisters after getting out of the car. He just walked around the corners and enjoyed the cool breeze at night. He enjoyed the lively atmosphere of the people's square and felt very satisfied. The night gradually eroded the world. The five colored lights were very abrupt in the night. They flashed on people's faces and reflected the shadows of happiness. Under the shadows, it revealed the beautiful scenery of the Golden Age. It was a scene that no one could ever paint. It was a famous painting that all painters dreamed of but could not produce in their lives. It was also a heavenly voice that all singers could not sing. It was a gorgeous waltz that all dancers could not dance. It was a romantic piece that all pianos could not play. It was a happiness that could not be preserved in any form, but it was still alive at all times. It was the final chapter that everyone looked forward to. It existed in everything in people's conversations, in cars, in the cries of magpies, and in the breathing of everything. It would last forever. It was indestructible in China and the world. No one could shatter this happiness that everyone supported. It would never happen. Yixin looked at this magnificent scenery and was filled with emotions. He engraved it in his mind forever. After strolling around for a while, he saw that everyone was done playing, so he gave Zheng Zhanghao a look. Zhang Zhanghao understood. He immediately put away his umbrella and returned to the Rolls Royce Phantom Extended Edition. Then, he opened the car door and waited respectfully. Yi Xin nodded and got into the car first. His sisters followed closely behind, and his parents followed behind. Fortunately, the Extended Edition was very spacious, so the group could still sit down. Seeing that everyone was sitting steadily, Zhang Zhanghao braked and drove the Rolls Royce Phantom Extended Edition out steadily, heading straight for the best hot spring clubhouse nearby. In the car, his mother, Sun Xiaoqin, was chatting happily with his sisters. To her, she was very happy to be able to walk around with her entire family. It was very simple and innocent. It made his father, Yi Hongliang, feel very gratified. With this wife, he would have no regrets in his life. After a while, they arrived at the place. It was about 10 minutes away and was very close to the People's Square. The sign of the Hot Spring Clubhouse was very proper. Unlike previous clubhouses, it was in the form of a plaque with a few ancient words engraved on it. Shangshan Ruashue. There were many ushers in traditional Chinese clothes standing in front of the door. It could be seen that this clubhouse adopted an ancient style. The decorations of the entire Hot Spring Clubhouse were also more classical but they were also matched with many modern decorations and services. They looked very charming. As the hot spring clubhouse was by the street and there was no place to park, Zhang Zhanghao could only park the Rolls-Royce Phantom Extended Edition on the other side. Then, he got out of the car and respectfully opened the door to welcome Yi Xian to the entrance of the hot spring clubhouse. As soon as they reached the door, the ushers bowed and spoke warmly in unison. Welcome, boss. Good evening. Yi Hongliang nodded and didn't say anything. 
He walked straight into the clubhouse. He often heard phrases that were used to welcome guests, so his entire body was numb. Yi Xin thought so too, so he didn't say anything. He followed his father through the door of the clubhouse and entered. The receptionist immediately welcomed them and greeted them warmly. Welcome to Shangshan Ruashue Hot Spring Clubhouse, boss. We only use natural spring water to provide you with the best service. We've also added roses and ginger in the water to let you get rid of the humidity while being filled with an elegant fragrance. This will allow you to integrate health and pleasant experiences, bringing extreme enjoyment. Are these all the guests, boss? In that case, would you like a large mixed bath or separate small baths? There were no outsiders here. Furthermore, they would wear clothes in a mixed bath. Thus, Yi Xian spoke. We'll have a mixed bath. Arrange the best place for us here. Okay, little boss. Please follow me. The receptionist smiled and gestured for them to enter. She led everyone to a top-notch private room at the innermost area. Everyone followed closely behind. After walking for a while, a staircase appeared. Then, they walked down for a minute and arrived at the underground open-air bathhouse. At this depth, it did look like natural hot spring water, but it was mixed with reality. The decorations were very ancient. There were green bamboos planted everywhere. Bamboo leaves scattered and danced slowly in the hot spring. In the end, they fell to the ground. The hot spring pool was in a semi-classical and semi-modern renovation style. It looked exquisite and dignified, making one feel very comfortable at a glance. All right, boss. This is the top-notch spring here. The place to change into spring clothes is behind. We also have all kinds of snacks and drinks here. You can take a look at the menu first. If you need anything, just tell the attendant. I won't disturb you anymore. Please enjoy. With that, the receptionist left respectfully, leaving everyone in the quiet bath. In Chinese, the word bath sounded like jail. People who worked in this line of work naturally understood this principle. Therefore, the receptionists didn't use this word. They used the word spring instead. It was even more impossible to say, enter the bath, the one. When they encountered guilty high-ranking officials and nobles, the guests would be furious on the spot. Just like Brother Hua, the milk powder tycoon who ate caviar and scolded the manager for weighing it. There was an unwritten rule in various industries. It was not obvious, but everyone understood. After the manager left, everyone looked around and saw the changing room at a glance. Then, they went in to change into the spring clothes and soaked comfortably in the hot spring water. As soon as their skin touched the hot water, they had goosebumps all over their bodies. A comfortable feeling immediately rose from the bottom of their hearts and filled their bodies. Due to the special nature of his profession, Zhang Jianghao had to be vigilant at all times, so he did not take a bath. He sat alone at the side and did not drink alcohol or soft drinks. He looked around at the bamboo forest and the surrounding situation, afraid that something would happen. Everyone saw his professionalism. Yi Hongliang was very surprised. For example, he did not hire bodyguards when he went out. After all, no one was looking for trouble with him. However, Yi Xian was different. He was the chairman of the leading company, the Dinglong Corporation. Many people in the country wanted to find trouble with him, and there were also foreigners. Although it seemed very safe in the country, many dangers were hidden under this safety. In other words, the poor did not dare to commit crimes. If they committed crimes, they would be immediately arrested. However, if the rich or the top people in society committed crimes and had a powerful background, they would really be able to do whatever they wanted. Yi Xian always believed in the saying that rules were set by humans and legal positions were held by humans. Therefore, these rules could be changed by the dark side. As long as one was capable enough, anything was possible. Zhang Jianghao also knew this very well, so even in such a safe country, he did not dare to let down his guard at all. After all, the person he was protecting was the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation, a top figure in the country. With such a big shot, he did not dare to make any mistakes. After going through all the information in his mind a few times, his parents and sisters also understood this, so they didn't care. They took their own hot bath and placed some wine on the floating wooden board letting it float on the water. As they soaked, they drank hot milk, various fruit juices, and red wine. They were extremely satisfied. Although it was midsummer and the weather was hot, 
The cold air caused by the hidden dampness in the depths of the ground made this place very refreshing. Coupled with the cool wind that blew from time to time, the natural hot spring in midsummer became as intimate as winter, making one feel relaxed and happy. After a while, everyone was done soaking. Their faces were rosy, and their bodies were very hot. Even in an environment as cold as winter, they were still sweating from the heat, making everyone very satisfied. Their bodies felt as comfortable as if they had been reborn. Seeing that everyone was done soaking, Zhang Jianghao heaved a sigh of relief. Then, he stood up and welcomed Yi Xin back to the changing room to dry his body and change his clothes. He protected him closely and was so dutiful that he almost followed him to the toilet. Yi Xin was also a little speechless. Fortunately, they were all men, so it was fine. Hence, he went to the drying room to dry his body. After changing into his clothes, he went straight to the hall. His sisters, father, and mother followed closely behind. As his sisters and mother walked, they cheered and praised the freshly squeezed fruit juice provided by this hot spring clubhouse. They reached a consensus and were overjoyed. As they were talking, his fourth sister Yi Chan was so focused on talking that she didn't notice a porcelain vase by the doorframe. When she passed by, she accidentally rubbed her arm against it, causing the porcelain vase to sway and fall. It fell to the ground with a bang and shattered into pieces, scattering fragments all over the ground. Seeing this scene, everyone was stunned. Fourth sister Yi Chan was also stunned on the spot, but she quickly reacted and hurriedly apologized to the attendant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't notice it. How much does this vase cost? Can I compensate you? The attendant also reacted and replied to her with an ugly expression. Ah, this vase costs 5,000 yuan. It's made of white porcelain. Upon hearing this, everyone was shocked. They looked at the vase and then at the attendant. No, this is just an ordinary vase. How can it cost 5,000 yuan? As the saying went, even if one had never eaten pork, they had seen pigs run. Everyone had seen the market before. Although they did not have the hobby of collecting porcelain, they had seen a lot of porcelain pieces. Therefore, they could roughly tell at a glance. This was clearly an ordinary vase. The workmanship was rough, and the texture was not exquisite. It was probably only worth about a hundred yuan. Don't tell me you remembered wrongly? Big Sister Yuan probed tactfully. It seemed a little too much to say that the attendant was scamming them, so she said it very tactfully. However, the attendant didn't seem to give in. She reiterated righteously. I'm sorry, but this vase is made of white porcelain. The market price is about 5,000 yuan. Seeing that the attendant was clearly trying to scam them, Yi Hongliang's expression changed slightly. He released his aura and spoke in a low voice. Call your manager over. We can talk slowly. The attendant didn't hesitate and nodded decisively. Then, she turned around and jogged to the back hall, calling over a middle-aged bald man in a suit. On the way, the manager already understood what had happened. His eyes darted around as an imperceptible sly smile appeared on his lips. He looked at everyone and spoke. Hello, boss. Ah, uh, it's like this. This vase is made of white porcelain and is a collector's edition vase. This attendant just came and doesn't know much about it. I'm sorry, but the market price of this vase is 50,000 yuan. It was bought from a village seller. It's very valuable as a collectible. The manager originally wanted to say that it was worth 10,000 to 20,000 yuan, but when he saw that the group of people in front of him were foreigners, he deliberately wanted to rip them off. He did not dare to provoke the locals of Tianjing. After all, there were hidden dragons and crouching tigers. No one knew how powerful the backgrounds of some people in simple clothes were. He didn't dare to provoke the locals. However, the manager would have something to say about these foreigners. The salary he received was low to begin with, so he naturally had to think of a way to get some benefits. Otherwise, he would die if he just worked normally. Would you like to swipe your card or pay by cash? We're a small business, so we don't sell on credit. I didn't quote a random price for this white porcelain vase. If you don't believe me, you can check it yourself. We're such a big shop so we naturally can't lie to you, right? The manager smiled slyly. He looked at the few of them and was already very happy. He was very happy about the upcoming profits. He was even considering buying a car that cost more than 100,000 yuan in installments 
and changing his Volkswagen that had been around for more than 10 years. At the same time, he was also considering how much he should pay the attendant to keep quiet so that the boss wouldn't know about this. However, this shop was under his control. It was rare for the boss to come, so he could put this problem aside for the time being. Thinking of this, the manager retracted his thoughts and looked at everyone's faces again. Seeing that no one was moved, he could not help but be a little displeased. He urged them, What do you mean, bosses? Don't tell me you don't want to compensate us for breaking something? In that case, it won't be easy for us. If you don't pay, you won't be able to leave today. The owner of our shop was born and raised in Tianjin. He has companies all over China. So no matter where you escape to, we can catch up to you. Moreover, our shop owner has his own specialized legal team. We're not afraid of a lawsuit. After the manager finished speaking, he looked at them arrogantly, not taking everyone seriously at all. At this moment, a group of young people walked out of the inner hall. They were the young masters and young ladies from the People's Square. They had just arrived to take a bath. When they came out, they saw that the aisle was filled with ceramic fragments. When they saw the two groups of people looking at each other, they roughly glanced at them and asked the manager, What happened? Why aren't you cleaning the debris in the aisle? If our feet bleed, your shop will be in trouble. When the manager saw that it was the young masters and young ladies, he knew them all. He also knew that they had powerful backgrounds and were all famous figures in Tianjin. Hence, his expression immediately became respectful and he spoke obsequiously. Hello, young masters and young ladies. It's like this. When these bosses came out, they accidentally broke the vase. This vase is made of white porcelain. The market price is about 50,000 yuan. I asked the bosses to compensate and leave, but they didn't move, so I didn't pack up the fragments. Although the manager kept calling them bosses, when he mentioned Yi Xian and the others, arrogance appeared in his eyes. He didn't take Yi Xian and the others seriously at all and was only very respectful to this group of young masters and young ladies. Meanwhile, when the young masters and young ladies heard this, they frowned slightly. They looked at the vase and felt that something was wrong. After all, they were all from famous families. Their families had porcelain pieces that were expensive. Usually, they would be influenced by their families, so they naturally had some taste in porcelain. Therefore, when they looked at the crudely made, dull, and rough porcelain, they instantly sensed that something was wrong and deduced that the manager was scamming the other party. However, it was none of their business after all, so they didn't say anything and remained silent. As the saying went, it was better to avoid unnecessary trouble. They had a strong background, and they might be fine if they got involved in something bad. However, it might have a bad impact on their company. After all, they were all public figures, so they had to be careful. At the thought of this, the young masters and young ladies didn't care. They just observed everyone, but they wouldn't know if they didn't look. They were shocked when they saw them. When they saw Yi Xian, the young masters and young ladies were instantly shocked. Previously, they felt that the figures of the beauties beside them were a little familiar. But now that they saw Yi Xian, they woke up from a dream. Hence, the young masters and young ladies were furious. They had scammed the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation. Who could tolerate this? Was Chairman Ye's identity something a manager like him could provoke? To put it bluntly, even the boss of his shop wouldn't dare to act rashly in front of Chairman Ye. Young Master Zhang was furious. He raised his hand and slapped the manager. He used a lot of strength, and a palm mark immediately appeared on the manager's face. The manager was dumbfounded. He didn't know what had happened. Why did this young master slap him? Just as he thought this, he heard young Master Zhang respectfully point in Yi Xin's direction and scold the manager. You're really bold. You even scam Chairman Yi. Let me tell you, this is the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation, Chairman Yi Xian. Do you understand? Hurry up and apologize. When the manager heard this, his expression became tense and his pupils constricted. He trembled as if he had fallen into an ice cave, and his face turned visibly pale. This slap had really woken him up. After all, everyone in China knew about the Dinglong Corporation. Hence, he hurriedly apologized respectfully. I'm sorry, Chairman Yi. I'm really sorry. I failed to recognize you and was rash. I'm here to apologize to Chairman Yi. It's my fault. I. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. 
Zhang Jianghao's eyes were filled with anger. Looking at the manager's attitude and then at Yi Xin, he tried his best to suppress his anger and shouted, You're a manager. Are you apologizing? Are you qualified? The young masters immediately understood and hurriedly berated the manager. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and call your boss over. Are you stupid? The manager looked at the young masters in fear and then at Zheng Jianghao's terrifying aura. He nodded and quickly took out his phone. I'll call him now. I'll call him now. The boss is upstairs. He'll be here soon. As soon as he finished speaking, the call was made. In a few seconds, the call was picked up. The manager stammered as he explained what had happened. Looking at the change in his expression, he knew how angry the boss on the other end of the phone was. After hanging up, the manager wiped the cold sweat off his forehead. Then, he looked at Yi Xin and the people behind him in panic. He knew in his heart that he was done for this time. He had kicked an iron plate this time and instantly regretted it. He thought about how hard it was to get this job. His monthly salary was slightly lower than 10,000 yuan, and he even received dividends at the end of the year. However, he was still not satisfied, causing such a serious consequence. If he had to blame someone, he could only blame himself. If he had quoted the price honestly, he wouldn't have ended up getting himself fired. At the thought of this, the manager's heart ached. His face turned green and red. He stood rooted to the ground and couldn't say a word. After a while, the boss of the hot spring clubhouse hurriedly walked into the clubhouse. The moment he saw Yi Xian, he immediately welcomed him and apologized. Chairman Yi, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't manage my staff well enough and let Chairman Yi encounter this matter. I'm sorry. Seeing that the boss had personally come to apologize, the young master and the young lady's moods improved a little. They looked at the boss and berated him. From today onwards, you will close your doors and close your businesses. Get out of Tianjing, scum. The boss knew this group of young masters and young ladies. He opened his mouth to say something, but he did not dare to refute. The manager also did not dare to speak. The two of them nodded repeatedly. Although they were unwilling, they could not say a word and did not have the guts. After saying this, the young masters and young ladies came in front of Yi Xin and bowed respectfully. Chairman Yi, are you satisfied with this? Hello, Chairman Yi. If you're not satisfied, we can expose all the information about this manager and today's actions through our family connections. No place will hire him in the future. This matter today has really disturbed Chairman Ye's mood. If we have time another day, we will definitely hold a banquet for Chairman Yi. Yes, Chairman Yi, I'm really sorry about what happened today. Yi Xian looked at the group of young masters and young ladies and nodded with a smile. He originally planned to ask Zhang Jianghao to call his bodyguards to smash this shop, but now that the matter was settled, he did not go overboard. He spoke politely to the young masters and young ladies. That's enough. That's all. With that, he turned around and left, leaving behind a ruthless back view. Zhang Jianghao followed closely behind. The anger on his body had not completely dissipated, but it was much better than before. However, even so, the aura on his body made the boss, the manager, and the young masters and young ladies tremble. It was obvious what the consequences would be if this matter continued to ferment. While feeling indignant, the boss was also glad that if the young masters and young ladies hadn't spoken up for them today, the outcome might not have been like this. At least they hadn't been beaten up and saved a sum of medical fees. They also had a way out. Hence, he followed the young masters and young ladies to send Chairman Yi off and respectfully sent him to the car. When he saw the Rolls-Royce Phantom Extended Edition, the boss heaved a sigh of relief. He was glad that Chairman Yi was not angry. Otherwise, he would really be unable to bear the consequences of failure today. After sending Chairman Yi off, the young masters and young ladies looked at their boss and expected better from him. How did you find this manager? Such a thing happened in Tianjing. It's really a disgrace to the city's appearance. Most importantly, he even scammed the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation. If we hadn't reacted quickly today, you would have cried. I wonder how many people this scum has scammed. You'd better investigate and do what you have to do. Return the money you've scammed. In the future, when you go out, you should do business honestly. There will be tigers and dragons everywhere. They're not people you can offend casually. 
If this happens next time, no one can protect you. Let's go. Young Master Zhang waved his hand domineeringly and led everyone into their respective supercars. They drove away without looking back. The boss kept bowing and thanking them. After watching everyone leave, his expression changed drastically. With an angry expression, he slapped the manager twice and shouted angrily, Motherf asterisk Kerr, I've treated you well, haven't I? You actually used my shop to scam people. That vase costs 180 yuan. It was originally used as a casual decoration, but UF asterisk King quoted 50,000 yuan. Is your family in the ICU and urgently in need of money? UF asterisk King quoted 50,000 yuan. Why didn't you go to the bank to snatch it? I'm really F asterisk King blind to let you manage this shop. You played well and played me out of Tianjing. I've been in Tianjing for decades. My roots are here and my connections are all here. How am I supposed to live after I go out? Just you wait. Just you wait. I'm definitely going to cripple you. You're AF asterisk King Jinx. You're really AF asterisk King Dog. As the boss spoke, he took out his phone as if he was about to call someone. When the manager saw this, he was so frightened that he knelt in front of the boss and hugged his thigh as he cried. Boss, don't. I was blinded by money for a moment. It's mainly because my wife has recently fallen ill and needs money urgently. I can't take the money out for the time being, so I came up with this plan. Boss, look, I've followed you for so many years. Even if I don't have any credit, I've worked hard, right, boss? I am begging you, boss. Seeing that he was crying and that he was kneeling down, the boss's heart softened. He frowned and kicked him. Scram, scram, scram as far as you can. Don't let me see you again, or you definitely won't be able to bear the consequences of failure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, boss. I'll get lost now, I'll get lost now. After seeing the manager leave, the boss looked at the hot spring clubhouse, which he had worked hard on, with tears in his eyes. He looked helplessly at the signboard for a long time. The attendants consciously packed their things and changed their clothes. They weakly came in front of the boss and bade farewell. Boss, don't be too sad. This matter, Sai. Boss, since it's like this, we'll leave first. Don't be too sad. It's all the manager's problem. You can go to Shanghai to continue developing. With your ability, you can definitely do it. That's right. If you need us, we can come to Shanghai with boss and continue to work for you. This manager is really too bad. He's usually very strict and unreasonable with us. Sigh. It's hard for us to say. The boss looked at the attendants with tears in his eyes. When he heard their consolation, he was quite touched. He raised his hand and gestured. Thank you, thank you. I was wrong this time. I'll definitely pay more attention in the future. In the future, if I go to another place to settle down, I'll definitely inform you. When I go back, I'll get the finance department to calculate your salary this time. I'll pay as much as I should. You won't lose a single cent. This time, consider it as me firing you. I'll compensate everyone with an additional salary. Thank you for your help for so many years. Thank you, thank you. The boss bowed and thanked the attendants, making everyone very touched. When a person was disappointed, their attitude towards the surrounding people would change drastically. For example, the boss usually looked down on these attendants. Now that he was disappointed, he was touched by the attendant's comfort. Humans still had to be quiet. No matter how high their status was or how rich their assets were, they had to have their own hearts. Otherwise, they would be impetuous and not be able to see many things clearly. In the end, they would walk into the abyss step by step, never to return. Meanwhile, after the young masters and young ladies returned home, they discussed this matter with their parents. They talked about how arrogant the manager was, how calm the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation was, and how terrifying the aura of Chairman Ye's bodyguard was. They said that if they didn't ask the boss to get lost from Tianjing, the consequences might be very serious. The bodyguard was about to attack, and the shop might be destroyed in the end. The staff might be beaten into the ICU and the company would be flattened. That would be the end. After all, the strength of the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation was self-evident. Just hearing that their children had met Chairman Yi made the CEOs feel very lucky. In addition, they had even helped Chairman Yi deal with such a matter and even said a few words. 
This made the CEOs very proud and kept praising their children. It was better to get familiar with strong figures than not know them. It was endlessly beneficial to their future and the company. In the presidential suite of the Tianjin International Hotel, as soon as everyone returned to the suite, they nestled on the sofa and stretched their legs lazily, looking exhausted. The night sky outside the window gradually darkened and surrounded the dim yellow chandelier in the living room through the floor-to-ceiling windows. Accompanied by the gentle breeze, everyone felt a little more comfortable and relaxed. At this moment, his father, Yi Hongliang, yawned and spoke. I've never understood why there are still people who extort people in this era. They extort outsiders whenever they see them. Wasn't he afraid of kicking an iron plate? He has some connections behind him. I reckon that the boss is quite indulgent, which is why he's so fearless. He extorts outsiders whenever he sees them. Fortunately, he met our little brother this time. Otherwise, he would have obtained another 50,000 yuan through cheating. Fourth sister Yi Chan spoke calmly. Her eyes were still a little angry at what had happened earlier. Thinking about it, it made sense. She was indeed careless to break the vase after happily taking a bath. However, one could not say that no one knew if this vase was real or fake. It would be a little immoral for the manager to directly open his mouth and cheat others. To be honest, this was an extremely rare thing for his sisters. It was also a rare thing for Yi Hongliang and Sun Xiaoqin to encounter. After all, they did not look like ordinary people. No one dared to cheat them. However, the manager of this hot spring clubhouse was really an iron-headed child. He did not care about anything else. As long as it was a foreigner, he would only think about it after cheating them of their money. At the thought of this, Yi Xin felt like laughing for some reason. He was very happy with the manager's brainless behavior. It was fine if it was just an attendant. After all, an attendant might not have much experience and did not understand many things. They were also a little silly. However, a middle-aged man who could reach the position of manager could be trusted by his boss to manage this branch of the hot spring clubhouse. He had usually received at least 80 bosses. Could it be that his years of experience had not broadened his horizons? Could he really not tell that his father, Yi Hongliang, was wearing an expensive suit and his mother, Sun Xiaoqin, was wearing limited edition jewelry, not to mention his sister's branded clothes, bags, and expensive jewelry, as well as Yi Xin's custom-made suit. Taking 10,000 steps back, no matter how blind and stupid the manager was, how could he not understand the aura from Zhang Jianghao that ordinary people could not compare to? He even treated them as a country bumpkin with no background. It was indeed a little funny. Expelling them from Tianjin was already considered benevolent. If those young masters and young ladies didn't secretly plead for leniency, with Yi Xian's temper, it would be good if the shop was destroyed. If it was serious, the company would disappear overnight and he would be ridden with debts. Today can be considered as a warning to the others. I believe that after tomorrow, the scamming shops in Tianjin will probably have to be cleaned up. The news spread very quickly. By now, it should have reached the ears of several CEOs. They probably won't be able to sleep tonight and will hold a meeting overnight. Big Sister Yuan spoke with a smile. Then, she looked at her phone and saw that it was a message from the chairman of the securities company she worked for. She didn't dare to delay and immediately picked up her phone to open the message. There was no unnecessary nonsense in the message. There was only one sentence. President Yi, after a meeting, the company has decided to sign you up for a finance training class. I hope you can arrive at 9 o'clock sharp tomorrow morning. The address has been sent below. When Big Sister Yi Wan saw the content of the message, she immediately smiled faintly. Then, she stood up and spoke to everyone. Then, she carried Yi Xian back to the bedroom without any explanation and closed the bedroom door under Yi Xian's dumbfounded gaze. This caused everyone to laugh and continue chatting. After all, Big Sister Yi Wan was the vice president of the securities company. The meaning of the company signing Yi Wan up for a financial training class was self-evident. It wasn't that she was sent for a class because she didn't have the ability. It was just that they felt that she already had the ability to advance further, so they gave her a gentle push behind her back. This was so that she could take on certain positions in the future and bring more benefits to the company. Big Sister naturally understood what this meant, so she was also happy in her heart. With her little brother accompanying her as her pillow, 
she slept better at night. The next morning, just as the sky lit up and before the sun rose, big sister Yi Wan and Yi Xian woke up in the morning. Yi Wan glanced at the clock on the wall. The clock was approaching 6 o'clock, and the minute hand had landed at 30. At this time, his sisters were not awake yet, and his parents were still resting. Seeing that no one was accompanying his sister, Yi Xian thought for a moment and volunteered. Why don't I go with you, big sister? Our sisters aren't up yet. Coincidentally, I have nothing to do. In the past, Yuan definitely wouldn't agree. After all, they would have to train together if they went. A child definitely didn't know anything about finance. If they went, they would only cause trouble and attract the complaints of the teachers. However, she now knew Yi Xian's identity as the chairman of Dinglong Corporation. He definitely had top skills in terms of finance that were naturally what wanted. She immediately nodded and spoke. All right, there are two spots. Have you washed up? All right, let's go, big sister. Yi Xian replied and stepped forward to open the door of the presidential suite. He entered the elevator with his sister and arrived at the hotel lobby. When the receptionist saw the two of them, she immediately lowered her head respectfully and greeted them nervously. Good morning, Chairman Yi. Good morning, Miss Yi. Yi Xian nodded and replied with a smile. Please call a car for us. Are the chauffeurs at work now? They're here 24 hours a day. Please wait a moment. A chauffeur will be right there. The receptionist replied and jogged back to the front desk. She picked up the walkie-talkie and spoke. In less than a minute, a Rolls-Royce Phantom arrived in front of the hotel. The private car has arrived. Chairman Yi and Miss Yi, please. Yi Xian nodded and didn't say anything else. He watched as the chauffeur opened the back door and led his big sister, Yuan, straight over. The receptionist followed closely behind and sent them off respectfully with an extremely sincere attitude. The journey was smooth and it didn't take long for them to reach their destination. This was a modern office building located in the center of Shanghai's bustling intersection. It was an industrial park. The environment inside and outside the park was very different. It was like a completely different place. After getting out of the car, big sister Yuan didn't hesitate. She carried Yi Xian into the entrance of the park and entered a classroom on the first floor of Building A according to the address given by the chairman. The classroom was wide enough to accommodate hundreds of people. It was a little like a lecture theater in a university. It adopted a tiered seating arrangement, but there was more equipment. Each seat was equipped with a professional office computer and a security system focused on financial operations. At this moment, many people had already arrived in the classroom one after another. They were all famous fund assistants and private retail investors in the financial world. Regardless of gender, they were all dressed in formal attire and looked appropriate and dignified. It could be seen that the standard of this special training class was still very high. To be able to attract so many outstanding people from the financial world to attend the class, the teachers of this special training class did not need to think to know that they were not mediocre. They still had some skills in this aspect. After these outstanding talents entered the classroom, they consciously found their seats and took out various documents from their handbags. They were not idle at all. During this period of time, someone noticed a beauty sitting at the side. They felt that she was a little charming and took a few more glances. In the end, they recognized Yi Wan and exclaimed, President Yi, President Yi is here too. Nice to meet you. As he spoke, he walked over and cupped his fists. His face was filled with a warm smile. The others were all pulled into a daze by this exclamation. Their gazes landed on Yi Wan's face in unison. After taking a look or two, they stood up and walked over. After all, his big sister, Yi Wan, was the vice president of the Southeast Securities. She was quite famous in the business world, especially in the financial world. From the big financial powerhouses to the newbies who had just entered the financial world, they more or less knew Yuan's name. Now that they saw the real person, they were naturally extremely enthusiastic. They cupped their fists and greeted her. Nice to meet you, President Yi. I didn't expect to meet you here. Nice to meet you. I'm really lucky to meet you here. I've long heard of President Ye's name. I'm really amazed to see you today. You already have such a unique understanding of finance at such a young age. Your future is really immeasurable. I hope you can guide me, President Yi. Hee hee. I made an appointment for this class half a year ago. Today, I finally have the chance. 
The teachers of this special training class have a full schedule for the entire year. It's really difficult to listen to a class. I'm really lucky today. Not only can I listen to the class, but I can also meet President Yi. It's really a pleasure. Hee <laughs> hee. After all, this teacher is a big shot in China's financial world. He once used the game rules of the financial world to successfully make a huge profit. He also followed the stock market trading rules and made more than 100 million yuan. There are simply too many people who ask him for advice on a daily basis. Half a year is worth it. You're right. Such a teacher is worth waiting for. It's enough to learn a little. Hee <laughs> hee indeed. I've been working in the financial world for so many years and have many questions that I haven't been able to answer. Today, I have a chance. Just as everyone was chatting and laughing, the teacher of the special training class walked in. He was wearing a formal suit and holding a leather notebook in his hand. His gray hair was a little long, and his face was filled with a serious expression. He was like an elder in the family who was dignified without being angry. When he glared at others, it made one shudder. After the teacher arrived, the fund managers and investors immediately fell silent. Then, they nodded at Yuan and smiled before returning to their seats. Yuan returned a smile and took out some documents and notebooks she had brought with her. She spread them out on the table and prepared to take notes later. After all, the chairman had signed her up. If she didn't learn well, she would feel a little guilty and sorry. After the teacher placed the leather notebook on the podium and spread it out, he scanned the crowd and finally looked at Yixin's face. He narrowed his eyes and asked in confusion. Such a serious class usually consisted of middle-aged people. There were very few young people, let alone a seven- or eight-year-old child. Anyone would be puzzled. Seeing this, his big sister Yiwan hurriedly explained, Uh, this is my little brother. I have two spots, so my little brother occupied one spot. The teacher's expression changed slightly when he heard this but he could not say anything else. After all, she had two spots. It was understandable that she could let whoever she wanted to come with her. However, he was a little speechless. It was ridiculous to bring such a young child to listen to such a profound class. Thus, he complained softly. This isn't nonsense. Why would such a young child understand finance? He looks to be seven or eight years old. He should be learning words and numbers. Why would he learn finance? It's really ridiculous. Although he was complaining, his voice was very soft, as if he was talking to himself. Although the others did not say anything, their thoughts were similar. From the beginning, they felt that it was ridiculous to see this child. However, he was President Ye's younger brother after all, so it was naturally not appropriate for them to say anything. However, they felt that President Ye had implemented the saying that one had to start from a child to study finance too thoroughly. They could not help but feel a little happy. However, Yi Xian didn't care. He leisurely looked at the information in his big sister Yuan's notebook and didn't care what his teacher complained about. After the teacher finished complaining, he didn't dawdle. After looking at the contents of his leather notebook, he cleared his throat and spoke. All right, let's begin then. The first thing in this class is theory. The second is the practical class. In practical class, each of you will pay a million yuan and begin the operation. In the end, those with outstanding results will enter a higher level class. Everyone was in the finance industry. A million yuan was nothing to them. Moreover, with theoretical support, as long as they were not too new, they would not lose money. After all, everyone knew the strength of this teacher. Otherwise, they wouldn't have made an appointment to queue up for half a year to listen to this class, so they didn't think much of it. At this moment, the teacher continued. First of all, we have to understand the nature of finance and its connection with the economy. Although everyone might understand, I still have to talk about the most fundamental point. Everything in the world has a law, a rule that can move you along or send you back. When participating in all kinds of games and programs produced by this rule, you can't violate this rule or you will lose everything. Furthermore, with rules, there are bound to be variables. As for this, I suggest that everyone can read the book of changes when you have nothing to do. As people in finance, it doesn't mean that we can't read the book of changes. Many things actually follow the logic of this book, but many people just don't understand. In that case, variables suggest that many things that you think you are controlling will often fail, 
because you don't have a countermeasure to deal with the variables. Actually, many people know this, right? But why do we feel like we can't control many sudden situations and variables? It's simple. Think about your life. Isn't that right? There are always many variables in life. So much so that you can't control everything you have at all. After all, there's a saying that goes, you never know which will come first, tomorrow, or an accident. In that case, what should we do? Yes, in finance, it's similar to life, but it's more like a reduced version of life. There are also variables and many things that we can't control. Actually, we don't have to think of controlling them. We don't have the halo of a god or superpowers. We can't predict many things. What we need to do is to do our best to control the matter in front of us. We have to make sure that nothing goes wrong and maintain its true appearance, at least as we think. Therefore, the first thing I want to talk about in this class is how to control the matters in front of us and make the theory of putting your eggs in more than one basket more reliable. This is so that we can make full use of our trust in ourselves to independently complete a job that we can later admire. At this point, the teacher unscrewed the lid of the thermos flask and blew at the tea leaves floating on the surface. Then, he took a sip in satisfaction and finally spat out the tea leaves in his mouth. Teachers across the country did the same thing. When the people below the stage heard this, they applauded. They agreed with the teacher's opening speech and were glad that their trip today was not in vain. Then, the teacher closed the thermos lid and looked at the contents of the notebook before continuing. All right, let's talk about the first rule first. How to set off and find the right entry point and terminal. There was silence in the classroom. Everyone listened to the teacher's lecture quietly and took notes from time to time. Everyone was serious, just like the students in the university class, or even more so. The lecture lasted for two hours. Yixian knew that he would have to use one million yuan for practical exercises later, so he asked his big sister to help him open an account during this period and waited for the practical exercise. After the theory lesson was over, the teacher closed his notebook, unscrewed the thermos flask, and took a sip of tea. Then, he looked at the students in front of him and spoke calmly. That's the end of the theory. Everyone, turn on the computer. We'll enter the system to practice the theory and ensure that we really remember it. That's the ultimate goal of this class. Everyone nodded and turned on the computer in front of their desks. Then, they clicked on the terminal emulator system and linked their bank card. After transferring a million yuan, they began to practice. Yixian and his big sister, Yuan, sat at the corner and practiced the actions with everyone else. The sound of keyboards and mice filled the entire classroom. Other than this sound, there was no other sound. Everyone was focused on their operations. From time to time, they would look at the notes they had taken down. Their faces were serious and serious. No one allowed their minds to wander. After about an hour, the noon sun was already high in the sky. The sunlight shone through the window and poured the hot golden light into the classroom, shining brightly. The teacher glanced at the time on his watch. Then, he stood up and gestured. It's time. Everyone, stop your work. I'll check it. As he spoke, he began to check everyone's computers from the first row. They had achieved some profits. Whether it was a loss or a profit was the boundary between good and bad results. Everyone also stopped what they were doing and sat upright, waiting for the teacher to examine their work. At this moment, on Yi Xian's side. A man in a suit in his thirties sitting behind him had already completed all his work. He looked at the sudden 22% of profits on the computer screen and revealed a smug smile. After following the teacher's theory, he had indeed increased his earnings and was more aligned in the direction of financial coordination. He had received a return of 220,000 yuan in a short hour. It made him really happy. As he rejoiced, he raised his head and looked at everyone. Although some people looked sad, most of them looked very happy. It could be seen that the prophets had broken the record. Then, his gaze landed on Yi Xian in front of him. When he saw that Yi Xian's screen also revealed the operation page of the terminal system, he was instantly curious. He stood up and went to Yi Xian's computer screen to take a look. Then, he was so shocked that his face lost its color. Meanwhile, the teacher happened to be checking at the side. Seeing that this person had such a rich expression, he felt a little curious and leaned over to look at the computer screen. It was fine if he didn't look, but he was shocked when he saw it. 
A red number suddenly appeared on Yi Xian's computer screen. It revealed a 200% yield. Since he had invested a billion yuan as capital, it had now become 3 billion yuan. Seeing this, the teacher exclaimed, A billion? A 200% yield? When everyone saw that their teacher was so surprised, they stood up and came over. When they saw the particularly abrupt numbers on Yixian's screen, they were all stunned and their faces were filled with shock. After all, in finance, it was already very good to be able to achieve 50% in profits. To be able to achieve 70% to 80% simply made them a big boss in the industry. For someone like Yi Xian to achieve 200% in profits, it was simply cheating. His big sister Yuan also came over. Looking at this shocking scene, she was shocked and spoke in surprise. Little brother, that's a 200% yield. How did you do it? It's too terrifying. Although she knew that Yi Xian was the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation, regardless of this, it was indeed too terrifying for him to achieve 200% in profits. It refreshed Yuan's worldview, and she looked at Yi Xian in shock. When everyone saw Yuan speak, they echoed. I've been in the industry for so many years, but I've never seen such a terrifying profit in the financial world. How did he do it? Even in the history of the financial world, such a thing has never happened. I'm stunned. It's simply too ridiculous. It's already good enough that I can make 30% in profits by myself. This is simply 200%. What kind of concept is this? Oh my god. Furthermore, he invested a billion yuan? This is too ridiculous. It's a billion. A billion yuan directly turned into 3 billion yuan. He earned 2 billion yuan in just an hour. Oh my god. What kind of ridiculous profit is this? This is simply more worth it than any business. It's too terrifying. This is the first time I've seen such a thing. A 200% profit has stunned me. I'll go back and tell my friends. As expected, experts are among the common people. Look at this structure and the coordination between the three forces. I'm really impressed. This is impressive, simply impressive. He's a genius in economics. He's simply too good at it. Why didn't I think of this before? He can match the rules and make a huge profit. Yi Xian didn't pay much attention to everyone's exclamations. Since the course had been completed, he didn't waste any time. He transferred the 2 billion yuan in profit and his capital of 1 billion yuan back to his card. He stood up and pulled Yuan out of the classroom under everyone's shock. Then, they leisurely walked out of the industrial park. On the way, his big sister Yuan was still in a daze. She looked at her little brother in a daze and asked softly after a while, Little brother, how did you do it? You can actually reach a 200% profit. I only achieved 50% according to the teacher's instructions. I really can't make it go up. He expected his big sister to ask this, so he didn't hide anything and spoke calmly. I didn't follow the method he taught me. I used half of it. I understood the other half myself and used it. Hearing this, Yuan came to a realization. After all, Yi Xian was the chairman of the Dinglong Corporation. He must have his own method, which was why he could stand at the top of the financial world and not fall. As for this method, it was not easy for her to ask. So she didn't say anything and nodded silently. At this moment, Yi Xian stood by the roadside and picked up his phone to call the front desk of the Tianjin International Hotel. He instructed them to send a car over. After that, he spoke to his big sister Yi Wan. Since we're done, let's go back to the hotel to eat. We'll give big sister a celebration for achieving 50% in profits. Ye dan similet bitterli. How was this a celebration? It was more like a celebration for Yi Xian's profit of 200%. After all, no one in the industry could do this. Although she thought this, she didn't say anything. She nodded and smiled. All right, all right, all right. This is the first time your big sister has broken a record. I have to say that this teacher has taught me very well. He has taught me many details and enlightened me. Indeed, I feel that he taught us quite well. His control of the details and rhythm were very good. At that time, I felt that it was not bad and learned a little. Yi Xian agreed with his big sister and praised this teacher's professional knowledge in his heart. It was rare for someone to surprise him so much. It was indeed not bad. At this moment, the Rolls-Royce Phantom sent by the Tianjin International Hotel stopped steadily in front of Yi Xian. 
After the chauffeur got out of the car, he lowered his head and spoke respectfully to Yi Xian. After saying that, he respectfully opened the back door and welcomed Yi Xian and his big sister Yi Wan into the car. Then, he slowly drove out of the industrial park. There was a gentle breeze on the road and the sun was shining brightly. Passersby were in a hurry, and the surrounding cars avoided them, forming a spectacular scene that made people exclaim. After a while, they arrived at the entrance of the Tianjin Five Star International Hotel. The chauffeur slowly stopped the Rolls Royce Phantom and got out of the car. He opened the door and respectfully welcomed Yi Xian out of the car. After Yi Xian got out of the car, he took a deep breath of hot air and led his big sister Yi Wan towards the entrance of the hotel. At this moment, at the front desk of the hotel, a slightly fat CEO in a suit was hugging his suit jacket. He looked at the receptionist and spoke. Give me a private room. There are about 15 people. Try to make it as big as possible. The sea view room upstairs is not bad. I'm sorry, boss. There are no more private rooms upstairs. I'm really sorry. It's Saturday today. There are really too many guests. I'm really sorry. Why aren't there any more rooms? Your hotel is so big, and there are so many private rooms. How can there be none left? Moreover, it's impossible for there to be no sea view rooms. The CEO was a little unwilling and asked with a frown. The receptionist was also very helpless. Although there was one last sea view room, the hotel had stipulated that no matter how full the rooms were, the last room could never be used by guests because it was reserved for the hotel's leaders and the chairman. Therefore, the receptionist could only apologize apologetically. I'm sorry, boss. There are really no more private rooms. There are too many guests today, so I have no choice. Please forgive me. If you want to make an appointment, I can reserve one for you. What hotel? Your hotel is so big. Can't you make it bigger? How can I have time to make an appointment in the day? Sometimes, they only inform me when it's time for the meal. What can I do? Think of a way to help me find a hotel. It's almost time to eat. I still have clients waiting for me. The fat boss was a little unhappy. It was as if he had come to his favorite internet cafe in a very good mood, but there wasn't even an unoccupied computer. Meanwhile, the other internet cafe was far away. He was very unhappy and uncomfortable. The attendant also understood the CEO's feelings. But if there were no rooms, there were no rooms. There was nothing she could do about it. She could only speak helplessly. I'm sorry, boss. Our hotel really doesn't have any private rooms now. If there were, I would definitely arrange one for you. There's really no more. It's all full. I'm really sorry. Sigh, help me take a look again. Don't look at it on the computer. Just go to the private room and take a look. What if there's another private room that's empty? Help me take a look more. The receptionist sighed helplessly. It was really troublesome to meet such an unrelenting and difficult customer. It was not good for her to flare up. She could only let him pester her for a long time. This was how the service industry was. There was nothing she could do. Hence, with a respectful attitude, she still spoke gently. I'm really sorry, boss. I really can't. Halfway through his sentence, she was interrupted by the manager who walked over. The manager saw the entire matter clearly from the side. So he knew that something had happened. He used his unique words to interrupt the receptionist and apologized to the CEO. Boss, I'm really sorry. There aren't any private rooms for the time being, but if you're willing to wait for a while, I can arrange one for you. When the CEO heard this, he looked at the time on his watch and knew that he didn't have time at all. Seeing that the manager had spoken, he could only sigh helplessly and shake his head. He turned around and prepared to leave. At this moment, Yi Xian happened to walk into the hotel. He brushed past the CEO and went straight to the front desk. Is the sea view room upstairs still available? Yes, yes. I'll bring you there. The manager immediately replied with an extremely respectful attitude. After all, he knew his boss. When the CEO heard this, he was unhappy. His expression darkened. He turned around and looked at them with a dark expression. Hey, why are you like this? Didn't you say that there are no more private rooms? Why do you have one now? Moreover, I've asked about the sea view room several times. What do you mean? Are you bullying honest people? Let me tell you, you don't do business like this. It's discriminatory, right? I've been standing here for so long that my back hurts. I've asked you so many times, 
but you all said that there are no private rooms. Once he comes and asks, there's a private room. What do you mean? It's obvious that you don't want me to use it. The CEO was very angry and his face was a little red. He was very angry at the hotel's unfair treatment. He rolled up his sleeves and looked like he wanted to make a fuss. The manager looked at him and didn't know whether to laugh or cry. He raised his palm in front of Yi Xin and spoke seriously. This is our chairman. There's a sea view room specially reserved for the chairman. Do you have any objections? The CEO was instantly a little embarrassed when he heard this. He also understood this logic. Many hotels would reserve a suite, a private room, and so on for their bosses, leaders, and chairman. Even he would make such arrangements. It was understandable. Originally, he was in the right. Now, it seemed like he was the one messing around here. At this moment, a few high-ranking officials and nobles from Tianjin suddenly walked out from the other side. When they came out and saw Yi Xin, their expressions instantly tensed up. Then, they hurriedly came over and greeted Yi Xin respectfully. Ah, uh, Chairman Yi, nice to meet you. What a coincidence, Chairman Yi. It's a pleasure to meet you here. Hello, Chairman Yi. It's our first time meeting. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yi Xin looked at this group of CEOs he was not familiar with and nodded. He smiled and shook their hands. His expression was gentle, and the aura on his body was very gentle. Meanwhile, the awkward fat-bellied CEO naturally knew these high-ranking officials and nobles in Tianjin. When he saw such big shots greet the kid in front of him so respectfully, a chill instantly rose in his heart. He felt an unprecedented fear towards Yi Xin's background, identity, and strength. The high-ranking officials and nobles from Tianjin were business giants. Their backgrounds had already reached the heavens, and they could practically do whatever they wanted in Tianjin. However, people like them were actually so respectful to a child. One could imagine this. Or rather, it could be said that even if one used one's toes to think, one would know. How terrifying was the background of this ordinary child in front of him? It was probably at a level that he could not touch at all. He did not even dare to take a look. At the thought of this, the fat-bellied CEO was terrified. Taking advantage of the fact that no one was paying attention to him, he quickly turned around and left the hotel, disappearing into the faint light outside the door. Meanwhile, after the CEOs asked Yi Xin, the elevator door opened slightly. Seeing this, the CEOs tactfully did not follow and spoke respectfully. Then I wish Chairman Yi and Miss Yi a pleasant meal. We won't go up. Chairman Yi, enjoy. Let's meet again when we're free. Then we'll leave first, Chairman Yi. Have a good meal. Chairman Yi, Miss Yi, we'll leave first. Please enjoy your meal. After the CEOs finished speaking, they cupped their fists respectfully and turned to leave. After exiting the elevator, the manager stood beside Yi Xin and gestured for him to enter. Then, he led Yi Xin straight into a private room called the Sea View Room. This private room was luxuriously decorated. There was a panoramic floor to ceiling window beside the dining table. Outside the window, there was an endless blue sea. The horizon swayed under the faint waves of the sunlight. As they enjoyed the delicacies, they could look at this beautiful scenery. It was really extremely comfortable. Chairman Yi, please take a look. The ingredients are written on the menu. The manager took a menu and placed it in front of Yi Xin as he spoke respectfully. Yi Xin nodded and looked at the menu. As there were only him and his big sister, they wouldn't be able to finish the food if they ordered too much, so Yi Xin only ordered two dishes that his big sister liked and an egg soup. The manager respectfully took the menu with both hands and bowed. Chairman Yi, please wait a moment. I'll arrange it immediately. With that, he retreated out of the private room and closed the door, leaving the quiet and beautiful scenery in the private room. Meanwhile, on the other side, the CEOs who had just greeted Yi Xin had already left the hotel and were drinking tea in the top tea house in Tianjin while enjoying the afternoon. At this moment, a CEO picked up his teacup and took a sip. Then, he looked at the scenery outside the pavilion and spoke in a low voice. Why don't we visit Chairman Yi? Although we met him, we haven't really paid our respects. It seems a little against the rules. As soon as these words were spoken, the CEOs agreed and smiled. You're right. I have the same idea. We bumped into Chairman Yi just now. It's really unreasonable not to visit him. 
That's right, that's right. We can't just wait for Chairman Yi to visit us, right? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, CEO Li. We definitely have to visit him. However, what should we take to visit him? That's right. Look at the Dinglong Corporation under Chairman Yi. Its assets exceed 100 billion. What doesn't it have? Indeed. With Chairman Ye's ability, he can have whatever he wants. Moreover, Chairman Ye can't drink at his age. There's nothing he can get. It's indeed more troublesome. Why don't we give him some tea leaves, such as those we treasure, or those that can be placed on the table? Although the tea leaves are good, I think Chairman Ye might not like these at his age. Sigh, it's really difficult, CEOs. At this point, everyone fell silent. There was dead silence in the air. However, in the dead silence, everyone's eyes darted around. They were all thinking about some good things. However, it was not appropriate to say this out loud. Everyone knew the benefits of giving Chairman Yi some gifts, so they wanted to go secretly. It would be awkward if they revealed something good and made other CEOs think of giving him the same gift. Hence, they did not speak and allowed the atmosphere to be silent. They allowed the cold wind from the air conditioner to blow on their bodies and dissipate the heat brought about by their formal shirts. Meanwhile, when the large and round table was paired with a few small plates of dishes, it brought about a different reserved style. However, it was very suitable for Chairman Yi Xian of the Dinglong Corporation. The few dishes were almost empty. The chef's culinary skills were not bad. Big Sister Yuan praised them a few times, making Yi Xian secretly happy. After all, this was his hotel. From the day he obtained it, he had already become one with the hotel. All the employees of the hotel had become his own people. The chef was praised by others, and the chef was praised by his big sister. Naturally, he was happy from the bottom of his heart. Let's go, little brother. I'm so full. I'll go back and rest. Big sister Yiwan yawned, got up, picked up her satchel, and walked out the door. Yi Xin followed closely behind. The moment he walked out of the door, he saw the manager guarding the door respectfully. When he saw Yi Xin coming out, he immediately welcomed him and lowered his head respectfully. It's Chairman Yi. Yi Xin nodded at him and spoke as he walked. The chef's culinary skills are not bad. You can add some bonuses appropriately. When you're free, hold a meeting and teach the receptionists and attendants how to deal with unreasonable customers. Do you understand? All right, Chairman Yi. I'll listen to your instructions. The manager bowed and agreed. His attitude was extremely respectful. Yi Xian didn't say anything else. He opened the elevator and took it down, returning to the presidential suite on the top floor. After entering, his sisters had already returned to their rooms to take an afternoon nap. The snoring of his father, Yi Hongliang, also passed through the bedroom and echoed in the living room. Yi Xian yawned and went straight to the rocking chair on the balcony to sit down. Just as he sat down, a light suddenly flashed in front of his eyes. Host, please sign in. He signed in. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 90% of Cartier Corporation shares. Yi Xian raised his eyebrows slightly. There were no emotions in his heart. He lay on the chair and pushed it with his feet. He shook the rocking chair and slowly fell asleep amidst the swaying. Time passed quickly. He had no memories of his dream. When he woke up, the setting sun was on its way to the west. Even so, the heat did not decrease. Yi Xin yawned and covered his mouth with the back of his hand. His sisters had already woken up and were sitting on the sofa in the living room, chatting about something. They were laughing happily. His father, Yi Hongliang, and his mother, Sun Xiaoqin, had disappeared. Yi Xin thought that they might have gone shopping. Then, he stretched and got up to walk into the living room. Just as he was about to pour a cup of hot tea, he heard the doorbell suddenly ring. Yi Xian took a glance and didn't think too much about it. He walked over and opened the door. A foreign beauty with fair skin and golden hair stood outside. Hello, Chairman Yi. I'm the president of Cartier. You just bought 90% of our company's shares, so I'm here to meet you. Only then did Yi Xian remember that he had signed in for 90% of Cartier's shares before his afternoon nap. No wonder the president of Cartier had come personally. After all, Cartier was almost his now. To put it simply, he had acquired 90% of the shares. He had all the authority, including the cutting of personnel and the direction of the company's development. They had to listen to him. 
At the thought of this, Yi Xian didn't find the arrival of Cartier's president strange. He smiled at her and opened the door. Come in and have a cup of hot tea. The president of Cartier nodded politely and followed Yi Xian to the sofa to take a seat. His sisters were a little surprised to see this foreign beauty and looked at Yi Xian in confusion. When Yi Xian saw this, he slapped his head and spread his palms to introduce them to the president of Cartier. This is the president of Cartier. Cartier is under my name now, so she came over to take a seat. After saying that, he looked at the president of Cartier and continued. These are all my sisters. There are too many people, so I won't introduce them one by one. Let's get down to business. The president of Cartier glanced at his sisters before looking at Yi Xian and nodding with a smile. All right, Chairman Yi, here's the thing. The field exploration personnel sent by the company discovered a new natural diamond in Africa. They're here to give it as a congratulatory gift to Chairman Yi to celebrate your role as the new chairman of Cartier. With that, the president of Cartier pulled the satchel on her back in front of him, unzipped it, and took out an exquisite gift box the size of a soapbox. Then, she placed it on the table and opened it, revealing a natural diamond that was slightly larger than a goose egg. The sisters saw this scene and covered their mouths in surprise. After all, such a diamond that was slightly larger than a goose egg was simply unheard of. The key was that it was natural and its value was self-evident. Yi Xian was also slightly surprised, but he quickly calmed down. He took the gift box and thanked the president of Cartier. Thank you. Such a big gift is really generous. I'll accept it. As he spoke, he handed the gift box to his sisters and smiled. I'll give it to you, sisters. It's useless even if I hold it. When the sisters heard this, they revealed surprised gazes. They took the gift box in disbelief and smiled. Young brat, your sisters didn't dote on you for nothing. Haha, ha, this is such a big diamond. Then, they gathered together and observed the diamond from left to right, their faces filled with joy. Yi Xian was quite relieved to see his sisters so happy. At this moment, the doorbell suddenly rang again. Yi Xian paused for a moment before getting up and opening the door. He saw a CEO in a suit and leather shoes in his fifties. Haha, good afternoon, Chairman Yi. The weather is good today. I didn't delay your business by visiting you at this time, did I? The person who came was none other than the business giant, CEO Zhao. He was a famous person in Tianjin. No, no. President Zhao, please come in. I just made hot tea. Yi Xian smiled and welcomed CEO Zhao in. Although he was a little surprised by CEO Zhao's visit, he quickly regained his composure. After all, with his identity, if no one came to visit for a day, he would have to think about what was wrong. Aya, I've wanted to visit Chairman Yi for a long time, but I haven't found an opportunity. I thought that you, Chairman Yi, would be busy every day, so I didn't disturb you. I bumped into you at the hotel today, so I felt that I had found you. As CEO Zhao spoke, he arrived at the living room. However, before he could finish speaking, he was stunned. Looking at the scene in the living room and the diamond in the hands of the Yi sisters that was slightly larger than a goose egg, he felt as if he had been struck by lightning and was lifeless. Then, his gaze landed on the face of Cartier's president. He was shocked again and subconsciously asked, Why are you here too? He was in the jewelry business so he naturally knew his supplier's terminal, Cartier Corporation. Usually, he had seen the president of Cartier many times when signing large contracts with the Cartier Corporation, so he knew her appearance even better and recognized her at a glance. The president of Cartier also recognized CEO Zhao and smiled. Chairman Yi is the chairman of Cartier. I'm here to deliver a congratulatory gift. Hearing this, CEO Zhao is numb. He looked at the president of Cartier in fear. Then at Chairman Yi of the Dinglong Corporation, he felt terrible. Seeing this, Yi Xian hurriedly pulled CEO Zhao to a seat and poured him a cup of hot tea. CEO Zhao, let's have a cup of hot tea first. I wonder why you're here this time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep you updated for future uploads.